say something to you three. You three are a real piece of work. What kind of men, all three of you, on a young rookie trying to cripple a man so he can't rush? You're terrible. You know, it's tough out there. Life is tough. You know what we're doing for Tony Kazinga? You know, they say that what doesn't kill you will make a man out of you. Well, hear it right now from the right Reverend Colonel De Beers. Tony Kazinga, you will either be a man or you will die. Doesn't matter whether it's at the hands of the clique, Jesus Christ, or somebody else back in that dressing room. We're actually doing you a favor, Kazinga. You don't realize it today, but that hurt us worse than it hurt you to have to do that. Tell them, buddy, the purpose of the punishment. The purpose was, Tony Kazinga, get yourself a day job, brother, because this ain't your sport. Twelve years ago, when I started in this business, I was already a veteran, if you know what I mean. Tony Kazinga, you ever traveled 1,500 miles only to sleep in your car? I don't think so, but we all have. Go tell your goofy friend, Chad Manning. Go tell the rest of those goofs at Matt Ford's wrestling school. Quit now. Quit now, because there's another click in waiting for you. End this, Ed. You know, ladies and gentlemen, before I go, I want to make one more plea for donations to the Aryan Nations Church, care of Colonel De Beers. U.S. currency. Please, U.S. currency only. Take no denominations. We do not take credit cards or cash at this time. Dismiss! Fans, I have lost all respect for the clique. To do what they just did to a young man, try to permanently damage his career, is beyond my comprehension. And then they start using, the, they blaspheme the Lord's name on this program. That's disgusting. Let's clear out of here and let the stink clear while we watch these commercials. We'll be right back with more championship wrestling right after this.